फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ कॉमन एक्सपीरियंस दैट अ बॉल रोलिंग ऑन अ हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस कम्स टू रेस्ट आफ्टर सम टाइम ड्यू टू द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफर्ड बाय द हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस दिस रिटार्डिंग और अपोजिंग फोर्स ऑफर्ड टू द बॉडी बाय द हॉरिजॉन्टल सरफेस इज नोन एज फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दस फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द रिटार्डिंग फोर्स व्हिच इज कॉल्ड इनटू प्ले व्हेन अ बॉडी एक्चुअली मूव्स और टेंड्स टू मूव ओवर द सरफेस ऑफ अनदर बॉडी friction a self adjusting force friction is a self adjusting force how does this happen let us take the example of a table resting on a floor push the table gently the table does not move the frictional forces oppose the motion now increase the force applied the table does not move this shows that the frictional force also increases The frictional force is proportional to the applied force and maintains static equilibrium. Friction always adjusts itself equal to the applied force up to a certain value called the limiting friction. What is limiting friction? Remember that there is always some limit up to which the force of friction can increase with the increase in the magnitude of applied force. This maximum value of the force of static friction which is called into play when a body just begins to slide over the surface of another body is called the limiting friction causes of friction displayed on your screen is the microscopic view of two wooden blocks placed one over the other on the surface of the wooden block there are irregularities projections and depressions because of this unevenness the surfaces get interlocked and oppose the motion the modern view states that apart from the interlocking of the two surfaces in contact the main cause of friction is the atomic and molecular forces of attraction between the two surfaces at the point of contact types of friction the force of friction is classified into static friction and kinetic friction Kinetic friction is further classified into sliding friction and rolling friction. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Here you can see a block of wood resting on an inclined plane. The block holds on to the inclined plane due to force of friction. The block of wood would have come down due to the action of gravity if there were no force of friction. This type of force of friction that exists between two surfaces in contact when there is no relative motion is called static friction. Now, if we slightly push the block, it starts sliding on the plane. The friction that exists between two surfaces when one body slides over the other is called sliding friction. If the object rolls on the surface, then the friction existing between the surfaces is called rolling friction. friction is a necessary evil friction is considered to be a necessary evil because it has both advantages and disadvantages friction is a necessity because it is due to friction between the ground and the feet that we are able to walk it would be impossible to climb and to fix a nail without friction without friction the brakes of an automobile would not work and friction helps in keeping the building materials together friction is considered as an evil because a lot of energy is wasted in overcoming the force of friction and hence the efficiency is reduced due to friction there is wear and tear of moving parts ways to minimize friction the force of friction that exists between any two surfaces can be minimized by using lubricants like oil grease or graphite powder using ball bearings or roller bearings using anti friction metals or alloys separating the surfaces by an air cushion streamlining the body and by polishing the surfaces click on each method to know more using lubricants like oil grease or graphite powder 
Lubricants like oil or grease can reduce friction. The lubricants form a thin film between the moving parts and fill the tiny pores and depressions on the surfaces. This makes the surfaces smooth and reduces the friction. Using ball bearings or roller bearings. As rolling friction is less than sliding friction, ball bearings and roller bearings are also used for decreasing friction. Small balls or rollers made of steel are placed between the moving parts. Using anti-friction metals and alloys. When steel slides over an alloy of lead, the friction is less than when steel slides on steel. Hence, bearings are packed with an alloy of lead. Separating the surfaces by an air cushion. By separating the surfaces by an air cushion, for example, a hovercraft can travel over rough land, swamp, or sea. As the moving object does not come in contact with the other solid surface, the frictional forces are reduced. Streamlining the body. The shape of many objects moving through air or water is designed in such a way that friction between the objects and the medium through which they move is minimized. Aeroplanes, boats, and paper rockets are examples of streamlined objects. Polishing the surfaces. By polishing the surfaces, the friction between the moving surfaces can be reduced.